How you doing? Dana Hansen coming to you with the daily word from Psalm 76. I am in Homer Simpson's office at the nuclear plant and he is taking a picture and moving it back and forth and it's a picture of God and he uh, this is kind of like his worship place at work and he has this nice votive candle right there. And he has this picture of God kind of looks like a little Sistine Chapel-ish and Lenticular printing means that you have an image that will change as you move it. And so he has a God that go, he moves it. He goes, vengeful God, loving God, vengeful God, loving God. And then there's this vengeful God, loving God, vengeful God, loving God. I love that. So what about this idea of a God of wrath? Well, in um, Psalm 76, we hear these words. It says, from heaven you pronounce judgment, and the land feared and was quiet. When you, O God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land, surely your wrath against men brings you praise. And the survivors of your wrath are restrained. So somehow his wrath is looked upon as a positive thing. And those who survive it are those who follow him. Hmm. Well, let's think about God that way, a God of wrath. Uh, I like to listen to Christian podcasts, uh, the ones that uh, like capturing Christianity with uh, Cameron Bertuzzi, uh, where they it's apologetics podcast. So he'll have atheists on there once in a while that, that will say, how could you possibly worship a God of vengeance and a God of wrath like you see in the uh, old testament and um well it's a good question i guess i can worship him because he's amazing uh he is frightening uh, there are times that i stand in awe like whoa uh more like asland in in asland in uh chronicles of narnia where uh, they talk about Aslan, they say, is he safe? Well, no, he's not safe, but he's good. He's good. And that's what I think about God. Now, I know a lot about wrath and anger because I get it. <laughs> it's uh, been part of me in my life. And uh, it's not healthy. It's the wrath and anger that I have is sinful because it's kind of like just, I just let go and, and, uh, Many times uh, my anger will stay on the inside, which makes it even worse. And uh, over the years, less and less angry. Uh, Learn to become the kind of a person who doesn't get angry. That's what uh, you know, I'm working, making progress there. But uh, we all have lots of rage one way or another. I mean, if it's not even in your... It's not something that you can, you know, that's not in your left brain where it's something that you're logically thinking about it. It's in your right brain. It goes, it comes too quicker than thought itself. And so it can hit. And so we want to have uh, that uh, anger, kind of like power under control, anger under control so that it doesn't become uh, sin in our lives. I mean, scripture says that you can be angry, but don't sin. Well, that I, you know, I trust God with his wrath. <laughs> uh, God hates my sin. He hates your sin. Uh, at the same time, he, he has infinite love for us. He seeks our good. And, uh, and it's within his range of influence to do something about that. So, uh, but um, I don't. I don't question his wrath. He's the creator of all that exists. There's one way of thinking about it is, is God's like uh, a sculptor. He, he molds us. I mean, that's the, actually the metaphor scripture uses. He molds us. And like Genesis chapter one, you know, he molded Adam into a human being and he molds us. Or and Paul talks about we're clay pots that he makes. And uh, like any sculptor, uh, if they don't like what they see, 
they have every right to go or just and start all over again. Every right. The artist in that way has possession of their art, their property. And yet he doesn't do that to us. Now, we are broken. Uh, he doesn't have to do much breaking. We do enough breaking ourselves, but we are broken. Cracked pots, as we like to say, you know. Uh, but there is a strange comfort in realizing that my Heavenly Father is dangerous and good. So I'm going to take the vengeful God. Yeah, but I'm going to bask and rest in the loving God. Thanks.